This portion of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited, fueling growth for people. The Bahamas Telecommunications Company is expanding its franchise operations with a new store officially opened this morning in Village Road with a series of doorbuster giveaways. The event today drew a large crowd to the plaza location that will now provide customers with an opportunity to access the latest in cellular technology and other products. Owner of the new franchise is Keith Sands. He says the process to lease went rather smoothly and he notes the economic benefits that BTC provides through this franchise offering. Once I was made aware of the, uh, the franchise offering, I applied and uh, I think within, within uh, two to three weeks I got an answer back from BTC. Uh, the process was smooth. Um, BTC has a whole, has a franchise department that uh, hold your hands basically from start to finish. Um, they come in, they give you your, your designs, your colors and assist you with staffing. Regarding franchise offerings, I think it's a great way to, to employ persons not employed. It's a great way to bring BTC and its communication um, offerings to the general public. Some outstanding community leaders are now being recognized as national heroes for their contribution to nation building during the Renaissance Movement National Hero Celebration Service last evening. Chairman of the National Heroes Committee, Canon Sebastian Campbell, says for some time now, the group has been advocating for government to put in place a Bahamian honor system. He says by recognizing this latest group, it will hopefully spur government to action. So until the government um, has the fortitude of bringing forward a national honor system, um, we will support this endeavor with the Renaissance Movement and the Heroes Committee in honoring our people in setting aside role models that our children and our grandchildren might know that they are Bahamians on whose back, on whose shoulders we stand uh, in the building of this country. And so I really hope, hope that we'll be able to spread this idea across the Bahamas, really. Now, among the first group to receive the honor are Bishop Albert Hepburn and Reverend Dr. Gloria Ferguson. Both of them expressed their gratitude, noting that it is certainly always very good to recognize the contributions of Bahamians. I think that it, it is a good thing to recognize those that done well in the country. I think it is overdue, and I think government should um, uh, t pick up the, sp the pace in, in doing what should be done for those that burn the midnight oil. Well, it's good to know that my name will go on record for others to see that this is what I have chosen and it's one of, it's the highest honor that I've really cherished of being a pastor in the community, in the, in, in the whole Bahamas. And finally in this portion of the news, members of the cultural community along with local martial artists and residents to benefit from performances this independence by the Wu Opera Research Center troupe. The Chinese group has a rich cultural heritage dating back 200 years and includes national first-class actors and actresses. And the troops' visit comes in the midst of the country's 41st National Independence Celebration activities. Now, Junior Junkanoo Coordinator Henry Higgins says the visit is timely and will provide clean, wholesome entertainment for residents. excited when the Chinese government would, would, would think of our country and would honor us by sending um, one of their major groups from China in the Bahamas, the, the Wu Opera is basically the one of the greatest operas in the nation. So I think in, from China. So I think it's so exciting that the Bahamian public would be able to experience Wu Opera. Now the troupe will be in the capital from July 7th through the 13th and will feature a command performance on July 11th at the National Center for the Performing Arts, which is free to the public. Now we're told that it will feature great Chinese opera scenes and traditional Chinese martial arts. Well, that does it for this portion of the news. Uh, Shaolin Temple troupe from, Hen from Henan province in China have, have made a performance here. It's very popular. Every people talk about martial arts. I think martial arts, arts is very uh, is very welcomed by, by Bahamian people. I think uh, Bahamian people will also like this performance. All right, well, that does it for this portion of the news. Don't go away. Julian Gibson is up next with ZNS Total Sports.